for the first time after I've grown up. I think the last time I went, I was like three years old. So naturally, it was my first time at Sarojini Nagar, and it was mad. More than twenty items for less than three thousand rupees, which is crazy and today i'm going to be sharing all of these fabulous finds let's begin the first thing i picked is this very mint blue sweater i picked it up for the color i picked it up for the cable knit and also the total neck and because it was just a hundred rupees hey it's amazing the subtle games that you are playing and you don't even know I exist You've got me on your hit list And you can spat Girl, you are sexual and bad One big advantage at Sarojini Nagar was that I had to rarely bargain like pehle se bol dete the ki flat 50 rupees jo lena hai le lo so from that vendor i bought this white jumper which is from uniqlo like ye brand ka launch bhi nahi hua india mein abhi tak but still sarojini had it so i love the fit of it one thing to mention is that the sweaters do already have the lint balls outside but i'm not going to complain for 50 or 100 rupees sweaters because photos mein nahi dikhta hai so it's fine Rugged looking sweater because it just gave me very calm and kind of classy vibes because of the color and the design. I also picked up a lot of color because I like having color in my wardrobe but because it has to be styled strategically I don't buy it from the malls that often so jab bhi saste mein mil raha tha maine itne sare colorful kapde liye ki agar main zyada bhi nahi pehni to waste nahi hoga so the first colorful item was this orange jumper like look how bright it's crop it it's perfect it definitely looks like I've bought this from the mall this was only for 100 rupees Talking about color, I got this bright yellow, very fine knit because this is very thin. Again, only for a hundred rupees.
lot of vintage stuff so when i saw this jumper it had such vintage vibe i got this only for 100 rupees if i'm not wrong and i love the vibe <laughs> I got this bright red jumper. Now, लेते वक्त मुझे नहीं समझ आ रहा कि इसके स्लीव में एक होल है लेकिन if I roll it up now, वो नहीं समझता है So again, uh, you have to be prepared to have defects in your clothes. Talking about vintage, I got this skirt which is gorgeous. This was quite a find for only two hundred rupees. I picked up is this one. This looks so posh, only for two hundred rupees. because it has a few glitter strands this was only for 50 rupees item is my most favorite one this is a vintage nike sweater and this is original so this is one thing i want to be wearing a lot and this was only for 100 rupees category i think this is probably the last item these are flared pants plain black pants and this was only for 200 rupees and that is why i bought it this jumper this gives me such high street vibes having one pop of color in a monochrome thing it's it's very much in fashion right now so getting this for 50 rupees was a bargain Now I found this black jumper and inside it says Ralph Lauren 
which I have a feeling this could be original. So for hundred rupees, I did risk it because I think it will look pretty good on. One item on the fancier side and the most expensive item I bought from Sarojini is this tweed jacket. Like, tell me this does not scream posh and classy to you. I got this one for 400 rupees. I did buy a couple pastel items because pastels I think will not go out of fashion for quite a while. This is one of the sweaters. I think I got this only for 50 rupees which is... My last sweater is this pastel blue one. The fit of this is okay okay but I really like the color so I picked this one up also for either 50 or 100 rupees, mostly 50. <laughs> clothing item is this corduroy pastel pink jacket like everything trendy in one jacket and also it is kind of my size 200 rupees may i had to get it earrings milti hai, but I personally did not find the right vendors I feel because the vendor I met was asking for 250 rupees for this one pair and I'm like tu to kolaba ka price bata raha hai, to why should I buy from here at the end I managed to convince him to give us two pairs for 250 so this was for 125 but I feel we probably could have done better <laughs> last item is literally the last item I picked up from Sarojini. It is this very gorgeous cream and brown bag. It looks quite well made. It doesn't look that cheap. Ah, I asked the price it's like 300. So I thought that I would say 150, I would say 200. And I blurted out 250. And he was like, okay, 250. And I'm like, shit, man. I said the wrong price. But even for 250, I do like it. I stuffed a lot of clothes in this when I was coming back and it did not budge at all. funny story we were already overweight jab hum delhi gaye the mumbai se to wapas aate waqt humko pata tha ki shopping ke liye jagah to nahi rehne wali so what we had to do was we had to wear like four five sweaters but i legit wore like 10 sweaters at least and i was this size i went to the washroom after the check-in was done and i took all the layers off and i stuffed them in this bag that you saw woman in cabin ke andar fold karke rakha tha so then i had three cabin bags but i wish i vlogged that for you we were so tired that we didn't 
बट आई हैव अ फ्यू इंस्टा स्टोरीज भैया दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट एवर सरोजनी नगर हॉल आई होप टू गो देर वेरी वेरी सुन स्पेशली वन द वेदर चेंजेस बिकॉज वी फाउंड ओनली विंटर स्टफ आई वॉन्टेड मोर मुंबई काइंड ऑफ स्टफ सो आई रियली वॉन्ट गो वन द समर स्टार्ट आई सीन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अंटिल दैन गुड बाय